For today's 10,000 Reasons flashback, we want to pay tribute to a friend, Ron Nielsen, who went home to be with the Lord last week. A man who loved God, loved his family, and loved music. Ron often sung with his family, and they appeared a number of times on 100 Huntley Street. One of those times was August 16, 1990, program number 3,436. And I'm gonna need a break every day Lest I should become vain along the way I'm just an old chunk of coal now, Lord But I'm gonna be a diamond someday Now I'm gonna learn the best way to walk I'm gonna think and find a better way to talk Everything I hated, I, I did. I, I mean, I was cursing and swearing and, and drinking and... Uh, Things that he never did before. You know, I, ju I just... He was with another woman. Yeah. And things went on and on, got worse, progressively worse. And I felt in my spirit very early on, within about the first couple of weeks, that he was going to come back. The Lord had put in my heart that he would be back and it would be better. And I truly believed then that he would be born again when he came back, or it certainly couldn't be better. Mm. And I came here to 100 Huntley Street and I saw Lauren Shepherd for Our minister counseling. To the family. Yeah. I brought the children, Todd and little Carrie seat, hmm. and Tammy and Jay, and we prayed. We used to come about once a month and we prayed. And he believed that if we just held on, that God would perform a miracle. And he could see that there was a calling on Ron's life. And years before this, when Ron and I were both working in the bars, before we had children, a dear lady had said to us in Woodstock, Ontario, she said, you know, you shouldn't be singing in this place. God has a calling on your life. And Ron said to her, God, I don't even believe in God, let alone this calling. Mm. You know, last week we were at a wedding of her daughters and she was saying, see, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I'm going, give me some more crow, would you please? <laughs> and I was eating a lot. I've been eating lots of crow. <laughs> Well, Ron was quite a comedian as well as a musician, and his concerts would have you rolling in the aisles. By the way, Ron's youngest son, Todd, who was the little boy featured in that song, he would later marry one of David Maines' granddaughters, my niece, Cheryl, daughter of Bruce and Elaine Stacy. Before going home to be with the Lord last week, Ron got to spend a lot of time with his family in the hospital. And here he is joking around with some of his grandkids. Those are three of Todd and Cheryl's four children with him. He was greatly loved and will be greatly missed. Our thoughts and prayers are with his wife, Betty, and their three children and six grandchildren. Well, that's just a quick flashback as we look forward to program 10,000. But more than that, we can also look forward to joining our loved ones like Ron Nielsen someday in heaven, thanks to the love and grace of God through Jesus.